Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Janet Gregory, and I'm a regional coordinator for the New Zealand Landcare Trust, um, based in Southland. And I've assisted the deer industry with environmental work advice and been involved in the awards since 2006. And presently have a project with the industry trying to get greater adoption of environmental best practice on deer farms in different parts of New Zealand. We would like to thank our sponsors uh, for the awards, as without them we can't run this program. This year they have included New Zealand Deer, Deer Farmers Association, Deer Industry New Zealand, First Light Foods Limited, Duncan New Zealand Limited, New Zealand Landcare Trust and Gallica who have come on board this year. The awards are a great opportunity for deer farmers to showcase to other farmers the wider community and to our markets examples of environmental best practice they have put in place on their properties and how they are farming sustainably in their local environments. The standard of properties this year was exceptional. A credit to all entrants and we would like to not only thank them for entering but also the time, preparation and effort involved. And like all awards programme, it takes a lot of arm twisting from other local farmers to actually get key farmers in each area to put their name forward. So, you know, special thanks for that. It was a real privilege for the judges to have the opportunity to observe the farming systems, what they have achieved and their plans for the future. This year, the judges included David Stevens representing the NZDFA, Brian Wellington as the previous winner, Amy Wills representing DINS, myself from New Zealand Landcare Trust, and also Ian Milner from Hawke's Bay Regional Council when we were in the Hawke's Bay, and Gary Morgan from Environment Southland when we judged the three properties in Southland. This year, the entrants included Robert and Deborah Wilson, Tui Vale in Hawke's Bay. The passion for trees and their fit with the farming landscape was evident on Tui Vale. The protection of bush areas and the upper catchments resulted in improved water quality and retention of biodiversity on their property is to be commended. Brian and Christine Russell, The Rock, Dipton. The passion and energy that Brian and Christine have is evident in the planning and development in their farm business. The time given to support industry activities is excellent and the practical approach to integrating management and technology tools in their business will assist in future-proofing their enterprise. Murray and Beverly Hagen and manager Jim Cameron, Connemara Manapori. The good relationship between owner and manager is reflected in the excellent animal performance on Connemara. The use of technology and innovative techniques in the business showcase the forward-thinking approach that Jim and Murray took to improving performance. For this, they were awarded the Gallagher Technology and Innovation Award for excellent utilisation of farming technologies to improve on-farm productivity, progress the business and manage resources. This will be presented at a local field day at a later date. Hamish and Anna Orbell, Clayton Station, Fairley. Hamish's understanding of Clayton Station and its challenges was exceptional, while his passion for deer was reflected in his management and integration on the property. Both Hamish and Anna have put a lot of work into developing the awareness supply contract and developed a strong relationship with their finisher. This is an excellent example of how they implement innovative practices in their business. For this, they were awarded the First Light Foods Limited Award for total commitment to farming sustainably with a strong customer focus. This will also be awarded at a local field day. Ray Tibbles, Land Corps, Uburn Station, Tiana. The extensive covenants and protected areas along with excellent infrastructure and management are a reflection of good planning, commitment and the passion shown by Ray and his team at Uburn Station. Ray has demonstrated a strong level of leadership through identification of risk areas on the property, implementation of mitigation tools and adoption of farming systems to ensure long-term sustainability. For this, he was awarded the New Zealand Land Care Trust Award for Excellence in Sustainable Deer Farming through Action on the Ground. This will also be presented at a local field day. 
George Williams and Laura Billing, Tamari, Hawke's Bay. George and Laura's business showcased an excellent balance of environmental and production priorities. Their growth over the past 10 years has been well planned with exceptional results. By emphasising the strengths of each block and putting a great deal of work into developing a sustainable business, they have created a property and business that is at the forefront of industry performance and land management. George and Laura are on top of their game. They have a strong vision, know what is possible, know how to achieve it, and are consistently driving to be at the front of the field. They have been awarded the Duncan New Zealand Limited Award for Vision and Innovation while mastering a demanding environment. The New Zealand Deer Farmers Association Next Generation Award for outstanding performance across environmental, financial and social aspects of the business. And the Premier Award, the Alworthy Environmental Award, sponsored by Deer Industry New Zealand. This property epitomises the vision of a sustainable farming system, <laughs> ensuring long-term protection of the environment and sustainable production. Best farming practice is clearly evident. So I'd like to um, invite George and Laura to come forward and accept the certificate from... And just to add, um, it wasn't um, organised in, in that we would be going to their property and, and it was just an opportunity as a result to actually have one field day rather than two. So it was, it was great that it was already planned to actually go there. So hopefully you'll all join us on Thursday. Well, as George will be speaking on the field day, he felt it only fair that I should accept this award and speak tonight. Um, George and I are extremely proud uh, to be the 2014 Premier Elworthy Environmental Award winners. We would like to acknowledge the Elworthy family, Deer Industry New Zealand, Duncan New Zealand Limited, the NZDFA, First Light Foods, Gallagher and New Zealand Landcare Trust for their generous sponsorship of the Environmental Awards. We would like to thank the judges for their kind words and sound advice on judging day. It was a very informal and enjoyable day and I would encourage all dear farmers to enter these awards. Like any good business, you must surround yourselves with good people. We have a great on-farm team, our stock manager, Amy McEwen, and our tractor driver, Dan Daniel Cavell whom you'll both meet at our field day. Off farm, we are well supported by Richard Hilson of Vet Services, Tom Taylor of Ravensdown, and Alan Maxwell of Westpac Agribusiness, who I'm, I believe watches us on Google Earth, as every time George makes any major purchases or any major works can be guaranteed to be there in half an hour, <laughs> and he'll just appear. But um, we look forward to hosting you on Tamari, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.